If you walk through the streets of Galway on almost any given day, it's a little festival. It's a mini celebration. It's being in a bohemian, free, artistic, very culture centric city and any pedestrian that walks through the town gets to experience that and being able to stop and watch the buskers makes that happen. You take that away and Galway is just like any other medieval town in Ireland and there are hundreds of those. My name is Nicole Blue and I'm originally from the States, Oregon. I started busking in Galway in 2008. The reason I kept up with busking, not only to make a living, um, but because it's this amazing intimate exchange with everyone. It's the most democratic form of entertainment that there is. You don't have to be a certain age to see a busker. You don't have to pay a fee. You don't have to be uh, a certain level of ability to go upstairs or downstairs or anything, literally anyone can hear or see a busker and uh, literally anyone can busk. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. My name is Lorcan Bolter. I play the full acoustic kit and I play a cajon as well. I have been busking for about a year and a half since I quit my last real job and decided to follow my passion of making my full time living on just music. And being a busker in Galway is just, it's a culture, it's a community like no other. You're part of a family. There's a scenario that plays through in my head. It's like a scene where it's a beautiful, clear, sunny day. The blue of the sky is just glistening down straight onto the street. And you and a band, your crew, your friends, you're turning it up to 11. It's like a perfect little picture of what Galway is supposed to be like.
The bylaws that are going to be introduced on January 2nd are a huge problem. As some members of the City Council view us as less than, like second-class citizens, at least that's how they're treating us. They're trying to curtail something that brings so many people into Galway. It's so counterintuitive. It's, it's painful. It really is. change of plan. We'll come to Brexit in a little while, but uh, we go to Galway. It's been ranked the fourth best city in the world to visit next year by Lonely Planet. The travel guide describes Galway as arguably Ireland's most engaging city where brightly painted pubs heave with live music. So, News Talk reporter Aideen Finnegan has been asking locals, buskers and tourists alike on Shop Street what makes the city so special. What is it that gives it the edge? Well, I actually think it's the music. I know there's complaints about the buskers and things, and people are saying, oh, they shouldn't be allowed to. And I understand if they're awful, it must be terrible to have them outside your shop all day. But I think they're magnificent, and that's why I come in. I'm just coming for a stroll around this afternoon because I can. Up the hill, turn it down the rock, you're up. If you read the Lonely Planet's review, they named the buskers as one of their main reasons to come to the city. Morning, noon and night, we're here and we're doing our thing. Are you? So the Galway City Council have been going back and forth with these bylaws for a couple of years now. Um, we've been pushing back, trying to get them to talk to us, trying to get them to work with us, but they, they didn't. They forbid any busker from using amplification before 6 p.m. and people think, oh good, that means there won't be noise. It's not about amps. Like, there could be 20 bagpipes on the street and they'd be perfectly legal. It's about volume. If you had a definite decibel limit put onto the bylaws, it would be a lot better. Put it this way, um, if you had a soft voice, you can't busk until after six. If you have an electric guitar, you can't busk until after six. If you have a quiet instrument, you can't busk until after six. Like I use an amp because I'm a little bit older, my voice is a little bit softer, I sing ballads, pretty songs. If I can't use an amp, I can't make a living. I can't busk. I'll lose my voice if I try. That would ban me off the streets or force me to break the law. They've completely banned drum kits but yet you could have a kettle drum orchestra. Like it, these bylaws were not written with an understanding of sound, sound design and live performance. It, it, it baffles me. Another one of the bylaws says that a busker shall not do, say or sing anything that causes distress, alarm or offence to any member of the public, the city council, on Akona and businesses and residents. So that's anyone. Uh, I think they covered everyone and that's really worrying because literally anything could offend anyone. That means that that gives an excuse for any person to call the guards on me at any time. It's just a horrible thing to have to deal with. And now, come January 2nd, should these bylaws come into force, all of us are going to have to deal with that. Thank you.
think it's the best music experience I had in my life, honestly. I played in pubs, um, bars in Italy, but uh, to bask in the streets is something that does not compare. I think the whole purpose of the busking community is to give the streets a soundtrack. It's, it's just a, a more unique experience and a more, a more beautiful experience, I think, than just listening to something on your, on your headphones. There are some shops that would, uh, I won't name, <laughs> won't, won't name them, but they would, uh, they would kind of, in a quite a passive aggressive way, they would like tell you to like, you have to turn it down or whatever. And it, it, there, there wouldn't really be anything applied about the way they speak to you. You know, you're kind of, you're, you're a bit of a pest or something, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we do understand that we have to keep things to an acceptable level of sound. We like to keep things chill and quiet. I think uh, in some ways it's uh, too much to stop uh, people bringing amplifiers and whatever, because I think uh, you can't bask. See the way we play with the two electric guitars, not high volume, so I don't think it's so annoying. But anyway, without the speakers, uh, we can't play anymore, and uh, so this means that uh, might stop this project and uh, it's a pity. The other bylaw that's really troubling is it forbids buskers from drawing a crowd. It says if a busker draws a crowd, they have to stop. That pretty much kills any kind of busking right there. Because it doesn't define a crowd, it doesn't say stop for a certain amount of time, it just says stop. So if like five people stand in front of you, is that a crowd? Even if they're not listening to you, do you have to stop? They're punishing us for drawing crowds to Galway. If you ban people from stopping and watching buskers, um, it'll change the face of Galway. It'll change what Galway is. Do you not recognise that the busking community is what brings people to Galway? Anywhere in the world can be a grey-faced, bland shopping district, but how many places have the unique quality of Galway? One, two, two. The nearly 12 years I've been busking in Galway, I can count on one hand the times that people have complained. On the one hand, they say, oh, we value buskers and the valuable contribution, blah, 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 but they obviously don't. If you take a look at the, if anyone would just sit down and read the bylaws, it's quite obvious that they view buskers as something to be shoved down. Uh, the fact that the committee that came up with the bylaws wasn't the um, Arts and Culture Committee of the City Council, it was the <clears throat> Environment, uh, Traffic and Rubbish Committee. That's, that's very telling to me right there, that we weren't even put under the remit of the Arts and Culture sector. And for the council to make one decision that, that flies in the face of public consensus, it will push Boscars out. You can't see Shop Street uh, and the centre in general, the centre of Galway, without music. Because uh, I think most, many people will stop playing. And so this uh, will influence uh, the mood, the atmosphere. And in some ways, uh, I think uh, it could change, it could have a big impact uh, in the, the life of Galway. I never actually thought the council would um bring the bylaws in and it's probably just me being naive you know but I, I thought that they never would degrade something of this importance it's, it's a shame like without a doubt um, we are against these regulations because they're unfair they're not they were not done in consultation with us and you know nothing about us without us 
is our stance. I don't think it's right to make laws against the community without talking to them. When you take the music out of Galway, the city suffers. Galway has a definite reputation as being one of the most fun, engaging cities in Ireland, in no small part due to the efforts of the busking community. I think these bylaws will um, really kind of dull the city. It'll dull down the city. Um, so it will become very samey samey, very boring. You're going to have less talented, less varied performances, and so less of an attractive city centre. Full stop. You're aiming a gun directly at your foot and pulling the trigger. That's what the council are doing, and they don't seem to realise that. I wish they could realise that, but they don't. It'll change my life if it's, if it's brought in and enforced. I'll have to stop, I think, and I don't want to. It'll break my heart. It'll really break my heart. Um, I don't, I'm trying not to think about that, you know, because I don't want to. Um, I don't think I can, and I think a lot of buskers are the same. So it, it will have a devastating impact on myself and the wider busking community.